570 Sports. We're down here at uh, Mid Valley with Cameron Ricardo, the quarterback. Uh, he's a senior. Yep. Cam, uh, this is your second year uh, at the quarterback position, so you got a little bit more experience now. Yeah. Uh, what are you looking forward to with this season? Uh, I'm looking forward to winning a lot. You know, last year we didn't really get a chance during the pandemic, and I feel like we can do really good this year right. with all the tools we got and stuff. Right. Yeah. Last year was tough, man. You guys, we, you guys had to keep shutting down, opening up shop, shutting down. How, 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 how bad did that, af did that affect your season? Well, it affected us a lot since we were learning, learning a new offense. You know that also, you know, hurt us. But it did, it did take a lot out of us. Right. Yeah. But I mean, last year you guys got a big win against Riverside. Yeah. How, how, how was that feeling like? It felt good. You know, I think it helped us coming back in the season actually, since it was our last game and we did like really good. Yeah. Right. Right. So what are you looking forward for this season? I'm looking forward to, you know, having my last year being like a good year. You know, I feel like we, we like we're going to do really good. Like I have a feeling we're going to do good. Right. I'm excited. Right. What would you say would be a su successful year for you guys? I think just a winning season. You know, I think that's what we need here at Mid Valley. You know, I think that's what's going to happen. Right. Yeah. How much work do you guys put in? We put in a lot of work, you know. Nine to fours, it's hard, but, you know, we're doing it. You know, we have great coaches. You know, they're pushing us always, and it's fun, man. Right. So it, it lo like looks like today you guys are having, like, a little blue and white game. Yeah. What's this game like? Uh, going up against our buddies and stuff, it's fun, man. It's competitive. You know, you got people mossing, breaking ankles. It's all fun. <laughs> what, what's your goals with football? Like, what do you want to do? Do you want to play in college, or is that yeah, one of your I'm goals? I'm looking to play in college. You know, I want to see how my senior year goes, and, you know, I'll take it from there. All right, well, we want to thank you for coming on 570 Sports. Yep. Good luck with the rest of the year. Thank you, Swerve. 570 Sports here with Kyle Marston Cabbage, uh, wide receiver for the uh, Mid, Mid Valley Spartans. And also a track star, Kyle, from the, from, the, from the track to the football field. What's it, like, what's it like running track and playing football at the same time? Honestly, it's just a lot of hard work. I'm con my body's constantly tired. I constantly need to eat, sleep. So it's definitely a hassle, but... Some people like we we work through it, so right. it's nice. Right. So I I mean the, the first the first two I think it was second play of this blue and white game that you guys are playing you 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 caught a long bomb for a touchdown. Yeah. Is that something you plan on doing doing throughout this season? Heck yeah. I mean I've already done it against a couple other teams when we played North Polk and on like Honesdale. So just looking forward to do it to the regular season. It's gonna be fun. Right. Do you have full faith in Cameron to be able to get you the ball down the field? Yes, I do. He, he's, he's come a long way, especially from, like, since we were little kids all the way from off the lines up to here. He's been sticking by my side through the whole time, and it's great to be here with him. Right. What, what do you think you – or how well do you believe you guys can do this year? We have probably the best team that I've seen in a long time. We all push each other. We all are hard workers. So I'm, I'm really looking forward to the season. And, yeah, that's really it. Well, so what would you say? What would you say would be a successful season for you guys? Realistically, I'm looking seven and three. Seven and three. Not bad. That's not a bad record at all. No. Uh, what about uh, your your career? I mean, you're a senior. What, what are you planning on doing with the rest of your with the rest of your career going forward? Hopefully, uh, maybe this year I do great. Get a couple, maybe offers from different schools. I've already been visiting places for track, so. Yeah, it's going to be a uh, – I'm looking forward to everything. Right, right. Uh, well, we want to thank you for coming on 570 Sports. I wish you the best with your future. Thank you. Good luck, bro. Keep working hard. 570 Sports. I'm here down here at Mid Valley with Josh, <laughs> Josh Angelo, who don't like to talk much, by the way. But we'll see what we can get out of him, man. I mean, you're a shot put champion. Now you got to take it to the football field. Uh, how you feeling this year? Feeling good. Boys are coming every day, working hard, getting better every day. Right. What what is it about this Mid Valley team that that uh that is it, I mean that you guys believe that you guys can be a contenders this year? It's every day we're coming in, we're laser focused, we're working hard, everything every day, right. lifting really hard. How are you holding down that offensive and defensive line? I'm telling my boys get up, get rallied up, let's go, it's time to go. Right. How often are they in the weight room? Five five four days a week. And, and just for just for the spectators that watch and, and the college coaches, can you let them know what you're benching? Uh, like 350, 360. Uh, so he's a, you're a big, strong boy. And uh, would you like to play uh, college football? Yes, sir. Any any schools in mind? 
No, not yet. Not yet. Still, still, still looking around. Yeah, I'm hoping yeah. somebody looks at you. How how well do you think Mid Valley could do this year? I mean, we got Old Forge week one. We feel like if we beat Old Forge, we could just we're going on a run. Mm, nice, nice. we uh, how far do you guys believe you can get? District playoffs. Mm, sounds good. Sounds like a good goal. How about the coaching staff? How 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 well does the coaching staff do with you guys? They're very well. They're on us all the time. We're we slack off a little bit. They get us back in check. We're good. Right, right. All right, well, I'm looking forward to seeing you guys, man. I'm looking forward to seeing you guys play some Smash Mouth football and you controlling that line. Uh, good luck this year. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for coming out 570. Take it easy, brother. Coach Dan Yanowski, uh, Mid-Valley Spartans head coach. Uh, it's, it's, it was a long season last year with, with COVID and things getting shut down and, you know, being able to get you guys on the field and not having them to get them on the field. How are you feeling this year with the uh, – Axel being everything going full go. Uh, yeah, last year was almost like it didn't happen. Like we, you know, didn't have an off season and trying to get started and install two uh, systems was very difficult. So with the full off season this year, the kids have really bought in. They've really picked everything up and, you know, we're heading in the right direction. Right. So I, I look at your team. I mean, you guys, you guys got an offense and a defense and, and some guys on the sideline this year, which is which, which says well for your numbers. Uh, is the is the the numbers increasing in uh, Mid Valley School District for football? Yeah, we're uh, right around like we were last year. Our, our freshman team has 36 players, so you know the the kids coming up uh, feeding the program or is, that's a good sign. Um, we have one way players on both sides of the ball, so we have probably six guys on offense just going one way and five on defense going one way. So we're gonna have guys that are rested and you know performing on their side of the ball. Right. What do you expect out of your boys this season? Well, we're looking to make some noise. People are kind of, we're flying under the radar. I don't think people are um, respecting us very much right now. So, but you have to, that, that's expected because we haven't been successful recently. So that's going to come with time. And, and hopefully by the middle of the season, people will realize who we are. Right. What, what games on your schedule are, are your boys really pumped up to play? Um, that's hard to say. You know, because Dunmore is right next door, you know, everybody shoots for Dunmore. They're the, the, the cream of the crop around it, you know, in our division. So, you know, the Dunmore game every week is a, every year is a big, a big game. Um, Lakeland really took it to us last year. So we're hoping for a little revenge. They, they had a phenomenal team last year. Um, so they, they graduated a lot of players. We're hoping to just uh, looking forward to those games later in the year, week six and seven. That's, I'd probably say those games. Right. What get, what guys can we look out for uh, that you can tell us to say, yeah, he's going to have a huge impact on the year? Um, our running back, Devin Ayala, um, he's returning, uh, had a, a great game last year, the last game against Riverside, uh, almost 300 yards rushing. We're going to put him in the slot as a receiver. He's just a, a dynamic playmaker for us. Um, Josh Angelo, Luke Ferguson, Gavin Schaefer, three returning offensive linemen that we had, two-way starters uh, from last year and this year. So we're pretty big up front. Um, Dave Califut's going to be, he's a 6'3", 300 pound junior. He's going to be starting on the offensive line for us. So we feel like we're pretty strong up front too. Right. So in the quarterback position, Cam comes back. This is his second season of being a starting quarterback. How confident are you in, with him? His, his development over the last uh, year and a half have been phenomenal. Where he came from, he, he just got back into football last year and threw for over 600 yards. We feel like if he had a full season, would have definitely been over 1,000. His uh, progressions, the way he's reading and picking up the offense and taking control, like we're really expecting big things from him. Right. What, 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 what would be a successful season for Mid Valley this year? You know, everybody says a winning record. Um, we, we feel being in 3A with all the teams that – Getting into the district playoffs, if we didn't, would be a big disappointment. So we're definitely shooting for – we should be in the district district play district 3A playoffs this year. All right. Well, we want to wish you guys the best going forward. Uh, looks, I mean, it looks to me like you got some athletes out there, and I'm, I'm hoping to see them on Friday Night Lights. Yeah, well, hopefully everybody comes out um, and supports the team in our community, and they are going to see some big things from us. And, again, we're going to fly under the radar.